Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Today I bring you a double header that is two battles against 741 852 BEC. They are both UU battles, uh, and for them both I am using the same team. You might notice something's a little different. I am using a brand spanking new layout. I can't exactly tell you what's, uh, uh, why I decided to do this, except for I've gotten some negative feedback recently on my old layout, and you know, uh, truth be told, I was never completely satisfied with it. So this is a new, fancier layout. I learned a lot of things about Photoshop and a lot of things about Simulator that I didn't know before, so it was really fun making it. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope you folks enjoy this new layout. If you don't, please leave a comment and let me know what you think I could do to improve. Uh, I, this is certainly not, this doesn't have to be the last uh, layout I ever do. Uh, I will say though that if you don't like this, uh, you're stuck with this layout for the next few battles because I tend to record in batches and this is the first in the batch, but it's still going to be like a batch of at least three and probably more by the time uh, this battle actually goes up. Anyway, I lead off with Galvantula. I go ahead and set up the sticky web. Oh yeah, look on the bottom. I've got a little bar that has entry hazards. So yeah, isn't that cool? Um, so Hugabug gets taunted and so this is obviously not Electros. Uh, I was thinking it was probably Zoroark to begin with. I take him down to his Focus Sash, and that is 100% fine. I'm not sure why he went for the Taunt. Yeah, so Sticky Web, great idea considering he has no uh, Defoggers, no Spinners, or anything like that. And uh, it's going to give me a chance to do a lot of things that I really want to do with this team. So he goes ahead and Sword Dances with Zor Zorark. So physical Zorark, interesting. Um, I could have saved Hugabug here. Uh, but I decided, what the hell, it's done its job, it got the it got the sticky web up, it is fine if I lose it. Uh, of course, I am going to survive uh, at 1 HP thanks to my own Focus Sash, and I'm going to go up to 2 with the Giga Drain. That was mainly for the lulls. Uh, you know, you have to take out a Pokemon at 1 HP, that's the nice way to do it. Out now is going to come Metacham. I could have preserved my Galvantula here, but I thought, what's really the point? Uh, Galvantula did its job, so Galvantula, thank you for your service and it's going down here, and that's going to allow me to free switch into someone else. So Galvantula is now down. Um, and this is not uh, gonna be a Mega Metacham. He's got the, I don't think it could be a Mega Metacham. I think that um, Metachamite was banned from you. Is that true? I don't know. Anyway, uh, now I'm going to send out Blastoise on the free switch, and uh, I go ahead and Mega Evolve, and I'm gonna go for the Water Spout. Yeah, Water Spout, this is a complete gimmick set. There's really no competitive advantage to doing this, but, I, you know, it's just too cool to pass up. And basically, thanks to the sticky web, it's basically like I have a Scarf Mega Blastoise. Um, because uh, every every grounded Pokemon on my opponent's team is going to be at minus one speed. So here, I was actually a little bit surprised they sent out Electros. He was surprised he took that much damage from the Water Spout. She was surprised that uh, there was a Water Spout at all, I think. Um, but so, yeah, I take out his um, Electros in two hits. I was really glad that he wasn't scarfed there. I thought for a second, wait a minute, what if he's scarfed? Uh, wouldn't that, then he would uh, hit me first, wouldn't he? Um, because he's he's not affected by the, um, by the sequel. Anyway, um, he's going to send out his Ampharos. This is almost certainly his Mega, and I'm going to want to switch back because I, I think I might have the Ice Beam. I can't remember if I have the Ice Beam or not. Um, but either way, it's I don't think I can take a, take care of Mega Ampharos in one hit. He goes for agility. I'm like, oh crap! If he has anything to deal with a um, with Metagross, I'm screwed. But I actually managed to outspeed, even if as he's at plus one and I'm at um, I'm uh, yeah. So that's really strange. And I will do the calcs to tell you whether that actually makes sense. Uh, but maybe he doesn't run any speed EVs. But if he doesn't run any speed EVs, then why uh, agility? So I'm not sure there. So anyway, I take out Ampharos in two hits. Ampharos is down, and uh, that is one huge threat out of the way. Uchikoma doing work, uh, surviving on 21 HP. Uh, now it is going to come Metacham, and uh, Sticky Web is a thing. Uh, and I decide I actually do want to preserve Uchikoma for later. Um, kind of hypocritical of me, but whatever. I decide he's probably not going to go for um, a Psychic type move. So I go down to sell a Luna. And now I'm going to show you, so this is this this is my Crobat, who I've used to replace my Virizion, who sucked. Virizion was awful, uh, but I have high hopes for this Crobat. And so here I go for the Air Slash. That's right, it is a special Crobat. And I managed to KO the Metacham because I'm Life Orb. I was actually a bit surprised, but I don't think Metacham has the best special defense. Um, so Stella Luna doing work. I'm very happy there. 
Nana out is going to be Carbank. Don't really want to stay in here. I do have the Sludge Bomb. I can't remember whether Rock resists or resists um, Poison or not. Anyway, I go out into Maryland. Um, Carbank is going to set up Stealth Rocks, and they're going to appear on the bottom. Uh, hold on one second. Right there. Yep, there we go. So isn't that awesome? So I go for the Water Spout here, and I'm not actually sure whether it's going to take out Carbank in one hit. It does. It's super effective. Um, so Carbink is down, and now my opponent is down to one last Pokemon, which is a um, uh, Pangoro. My first time seeing a Pangoro, and uh, its, its speed is going to be low. Its speed would be, I think, um, Blastoise would outspeed anyway. I don't think Pangoro is super fast. Uh, he could be Scarf, I don't know. Anyway, I go for another Water Spout, and I sweep him. This is a Body Bag. I only lost one Pokemon, and he lost all six. So that is good game, 741-82-BEC. Folks, don't go anywhere because uh, after this battle, he was like, man, I played stupid. Can we try that again? Can we please have a rematch? And I was like, dude, any tier you want. And he was like, let's do you, you again. And I was like, okay, you want to do you, you again? We will do you, you again. Um, and so he was like, I'm going to make a new team and I'm totally going to kick your ass. And I was like, hey, let's go for it. I, I figured he'd probably be trying to counter team me. Um, and I see that Espeon there, I'm thinking, yeah, he's gonna try to prevent me from setting up Sticky Web. Um, but that's totally okay, uh, and it's, I have no problems with, a, with having a rematch. Uh, so yeah, uh, looking at his team, that Agron looks like it's gonna be his Mega. Uh, other threats, Exploud, with thanks to Boom Burst, is really, really intimidating. Um, and Shuckle just got banned from RU, I think. I guess that makes it threatening. I don't know. So yeah, uh, and he, there's that Espeon there. So he leads off with Espeon, and I, I'm like, dude, you don't lead off with Espeon. What you do is you try to trick your opponent into going for the hazard, and then you send in Espeon, and then it bounces it back. So he, he's like, yeah, okay, so he withdraws Espeon. And I really could have, I thought, you know, he, I probably could go for the sticky web here, but I don't want to think he wants to keep it in. So um, my thunder misses, and the chances of that are slim because of compound eyes. I was like, that's lame. Uh, so Arunaltis is now in, it goes for the Draining Kiss, Stella Luna uses that because it's Poison type, and now that he knows I'm a special um, Crobat, he's going to want to withdraw, and I figure I know he's going to withdraw, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Nasty Plot on the Switch. Excuse me. Um, so now I'm thinking, well, I really should withdraw against the Mega Agron because I can't. I don't think I can KO in one hit, so I go for the Heat Wave. Uh, and actually, I almost take it out. He doesn't actually Mega Evolve. Um, I think actually he would have been better off Mega Evolving because of Filter. Because it's either, it, it, you know, would have been super effective, but it would have, you know, thanks to, fil thanks to Filter, it would have been half anyway. So his Head Smash misses, so it's a miss for a miss. Um, the chances of my Thunder missing were less than the chances. It doesn't matter. This, this actually mattered. Um, his, you know, my, my mid Thunder did, missing didn't really matter. His Head Smash missing really did matter, so... In that way, the hacks is more sucking for him. So anyway, out he goes into Sock. I'm thinking uh, it's unlikely he's going to go for Earthquake. I'm thinking he's probably Scarf, and I was thinking he'd go for the Stone Edge. I was thinking maybe I should go for the Victini, and I, I really almost went for Victini thinking that he'd Ice Punch. But I'm so glad I went into Metagross. So now he's going to have to switch out, um, because I'm, uh, he's certainly locked in somehow. Uh, he goes out into Exploud. I go for the Meteor Mash. Uh, and so I actually have no idea how much this is going to do, and I was extremely impressed that it one hit KO'd, so go Metagross. Uh, this battle is, these battles are everything that my last UU battle wasn't. My Pokemon before were proving so underwhelming, and here they're actually doing work, so I'm pretty happy about that. Sock is back out, I'm going to go out into Stella Luna. He could go for the Stone Age predicting that, but I didn't think that he wanted to be that risky, and indeed he locks himself into Earthquake. And so now I'm just going to be able to set up my uh, Nasty Plot again. Um, so he's going to go out into Espeon. I'm thinking, I don't know whether I, whether a plus two Sludge Bomb can k take out an Espeon, but I'm certainly going to find out. I'm, I'm playing really reckless this battle. Um, but, and I'm, I'm very, I could be doing the counts, but I'm just not doing the counts. So I take out Espeon. And so uh, my Crobat is sweeping. I was not expecting this thing to actually be able to sweep. I'm quite impressed that it is, though. So now he goes into Sock, and I'm like, you know... I think he's going to predict, and so first of all, I'm surprised that I outspeed. Uh, I mean, I know I'm Crobat, but Sock is pretty fast, and I'm pretty sure he's Scarf. So I take him down to Sturdy, and I'm like, oh, well, he could be Bandit anyway, so I'm like, here comes the Stone Edge, but he goes for Earthquake, and that's like, that's such bad luck. 
Uh, so I go ahead and nasty plot again, thinking that he would switch out, but he stays in, and uh, thinking that I would switch out myself. Um, and so I go ahead and sludge bomb. No, no, sorry, he didn't think I was going to switch out, he just thought I'd KO. Um, and he just didn't, he wanted to free switch into someone else. So now Stella Luna is down to 69 HP, uh, but it's still hanging in there. So he goes out into Shuckle now. And that, this is what I would have gone out into first, frankly. Uh, so I go for the Air Slash. Again, I can't remember whether, um, Rock types resist, resist Poison. If not, then Sludge Bomb would have been the better move. Anyway, I get the flinch and he decides to forfeit at that point. I don't blame him. 741 H52 BEC. Sorry that I swept you so badly, but you were a really good sport about it. Uh, folks, I hope you enjoyed these battles. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.